Greetings, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Lectures Training on Sunday Readings. Today, we'll prepare for the readings of December 20, the fourth Sunday of Advent. For the first reading, please take note. Say, Samuel, Samuel, Nathan, Nathan, Cedar, Cedar. Look at the assembly when you say this. When you say this in the middle and at the end of every thought and sentence. Red lines suggest you raise your voice. One slash means a short pause. Two slashes mean a longer pause. First reading. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you, and I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever will I sing the goodness of the Lord. 
May I just read this to you? Not many passages require you to plan your breathing. This one does. Make sure all the assembly are settled before you begin. You don't want to finish before you have their attention. Increase your energy from the first according to close to the next. Paul rejoices that what was told to the ancients in secret is now made known to all nations. The revelation is given that all might come to the obedience of faith. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to him who can strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested through the prophetic writings and according to the command of the eternal God, made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith. To the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Join me again next week for the readings of December 27, the Feast of the Holy Family. Until then, goodbye and God bless.